since this is a new subject so how questions may come there there would be you know lot of confusion in the you know students mind so how questions may come there are two possibilities the first one is a theory related and the second one is the numericals including derivations so this time what i am expecting is you know they may ask you to derive some you know uh, derivations so if i consider theory related there is very few you know um, questions related to that basically those are what are the types of robots we have already dealt in the chapter and what is the main components in robots so you can say that you know links joints actuators or something like that whatever you have seen in the robo then you can mention those main components and uh, applications we have seen that also and uh, what are the recent happenings in this uh, field that also you can uh, write from your general knowledge and uh, you know for more theory related uh, information you can go back to the book that i referred a lot of information mentioned in that maybe you can once go through that and uh, in the numerical and uh, derivation part what are the derivation of euler angles these euler angles are nothing but the transformational or the rotational matrix along uh, about x y z so if i rotate the you know any body about x or the y or the z then those rotational angles made uh, you know made with this uh, uh, you know this coordinate system are called as a euler angles z that is the only thing and i have already dealt that you know and then you please refer to that once and finding the dh parameters for different uh, examples this is also very much important so in some cases he may give some he may state some you know a simple robo or he may give some diagram robo diagram and he may ask you or he may or she or the examiner may ask you to find out the dh parameter for, for, for that particular mechanism and uh, you should practice you know you should practice compulsorily this car robot how to find out the dh parameter for this is car robot because this is specifically specially mentioned in the uh, our syllabus here and then finding transformational matrices in sometimes examiner may ask you like a uh, find out the end transformational end transformation matrix for this particular uh, mechanism or the robo so how to find out that first we need to identify different coordinate system and uh, you write the dh parameters for different links and uh, substitute these dh parameters in the transformation matrix of each individual link and uh, you multiply those all individual link term, links transformation matrix so that finally you will arrive at the final transformational matrix so we need to follow that uh, procedure that is the uh, one possible question and uh, finding the position of end effector and uh, this is nothing but uh, end transformational matrix the last column of the transformational matrix automatically gives the position of a end effector here that deals with the kinematics direct kinematics here so up to here these are all very easy to solve in the exam even though they take lot of time because you no know, we need lot of practice to find out the dh parameters the you know time taking process is only this dh parameters part once if you done with the dh parameters then automatically you can go for a transformation matrix this is a simply substitution of dh parameter in this matrix that's it and uh, if you multiply those then you will find out this one and uh, while multiplying also you remember that these are uh, you know 4 by 4 matrices and uh, if it is very complicated or if it is having so many you know uh, what we call that you know symbols then it is very difficult to do that also so i am expecting that examiner will ask you a simple simple robots here right because time constraint is there in the exam and here in the inverse kinematics he never ask you to find out the active uh, active variables or the joint variables for a given position why because in the uh, with a hand we cannot find out that we need to use some uh, uh programs you know matlab or some other software so in the mat in the in the worst scenario what we can expect is for a given robo configuration the examiner may ask us to you know write the uh, some constant equations 
constant equations how to find out what are the equation that you use to find out the activated variables are the joint joint variables here so in that case we can write the constant equation and again in all these cases we are just dealing the geometrical related aspects of the robot we are not going any elastic analysis we are not going we are not touching here dynamic part so only geometrical related aspects are mentioned in the syllabus okay so this is very easy one and uh, whenever we ask to find out the constant equation then we should consider the geometry of the given robo and based on our convenient and the geometry then we will find out different constant equations there and uh, remember the um, and uh, we need to you know do all these above for the scara because anything can come on the scara robot